Hello Pokemon peeps, welcome back to the YouTube channel and I'll bring you today a cool matchup here between Surfesh, the Sir of Surf, versus uh, Single Strike or Shifu. So uh, let's dive in and let's see if this uh, Sir of Surds has what it takes to beat uh, one of the big boys in the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in here and see how it goes. If we go second, I think we can have like a like a like a knockout on probably an Umbreon. But yeah, four rounds there it is. And uh I mean if he pr if he starts with uh an Umbreon, then we can take a knockout with a uh, Surfesh. But if he doesn't uh dealing two hundred damage is pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can do or let's see if we have what it takes to pilot this uh sir Fetch? Well, I think I'll go first. I think that's the right thing to do here. We can set up our Shinshinos, our beloved Shinchillas. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh he start let's hope he Oh, he's going to start with that Urshifu. Ooh, ah, oh, yes, Urshifu. I would have saying, I, I would have, it would have been pretty cool if he started with the Umbreon, you know, so we can just uh, slap it down there for the knockout. We just would have waiting for the timer uh, to hit, and then we can start the, you know, the two minute setup for it to end. Uh, we can start here. My opponent hand is looking, looking okay. You know he can uh, he can either play Marnie or he can uh, go for the search and discard that Urshifu to draw more cards. But he also has the Quick Ball, which will get him a little uh, dog, the Hound Doom, the Hound Hour, sorry, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. And then he can play the research, or he can even go aggressive and like try to disrupt us. But I think here, uh, if you, I mean, you, you, you if you play Urshifu, you have to set up. So I think seeing more than five cards is pretty good, you know. So let's let's hope let's see what he decides to do uh, with the research or with the morning. And what uh, his top deck card uh, will be. Alright. Let's see if they decide to start. Alright, there it is. We are good to go. And we started with Satos. Uh, yeah, we we know, sir. <laughs> and there it is. We top deck and energy. We have Surfesh and we have the Chinchilla and the Bench, which is pretty good. And we have a Resurge. Man, this hand is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Um, and also we have that... Uh, we can Bench to Surfetch and... Attach that energy. See, we can. Oh, we we're going for the Gorman dice here, but I think so. If we go for the Gorman dice, I think my opponent will most likely hit the Marnie to disrupt our hand, if I'm not mistaken. So I think he he will go for that route. There it is, and then Surf Fetch. And there it is. And Gorman dies for uh, till we have seven. Ooh, he top deck an evolution, so most likely he will be playing that Marnie. Mm. 
And there it is. Little Hound Dower. And Marnie. Ooh, Battle VAP pass. There it is. He can get himself another uh, two more of the dogs here. And he can use it, use the other uh, VIP pass or just quick ball it and get himself a Crobat probably. If he plays the Crobat, I think that's a, a better idea. And I think the the other card is a Air Balloon. No, he's going to go for. Let's, let's take let's take another peek here in his deck. Let's see if he plays a crow, but I think he does. Yeah, there it is. He's going. For, that's the best option, to in my opinion. Uh, best option there, thinning the whole hand uh, before playing the crowbat is actually pretty good. He can even put that uh, air balloon into the uh, into the crowbat itself, or one of the dogs, or Ombreon, or even our Shifu. Uh, there, he's going for the active and then crowbat for five pretty good but no energies Ooh, you hate to see that no energies and no supporter for next turn which is kind of sad to be honest trust me if we had if the the choice ban would have come out before this matchup I would have dunked uh, that Urshifu right there with 230 damage. But since we're not playing with the Brilliant Star format yet, then we just have to, uh, you know, stay with it. But I have another, I uh, have other matches with where I play the, the, uh, what should I call it? The uh, Choice Band. I play the Choice Band, yeah. And there it is, a pass for my opponent. And we have a chinchilla in the hand, which is pretty good. And we have another one, but unfortunately we cannot evolve it. Uh, we can attach that dark energy into the... Uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We can attach that energy into the... Or we can just uh, energy search. Energy search, scoop up the Saptos, put two energies in the bench, and then a Gorman dice for more cards. For six, I think it is. And then just play the waiting game. Because even if he targets the uh, Surf Fetch, even if he knocks it out, I think we're still in the good because we want our opponent to take prices early on so that our... Uh, what you call it so that our uh, Moltres can hit for a lot of damage, and there it is two, three, four, five, six, and seven cards. And we have another level ball, so we can get ourselves another chinchilla. I don't know what I was focusing more on my hand than my opponent. My opponent does not have an energy or supporter in hand, all he has is a bunch of Pokemon. He can play the quick ball here just to shuffle the deck a little bit more, um, so that way he guarantees like a different top deck for next turn oh but he gives us the crowbat so we're going to be taking our first two prices here and there it is the montres the bad thing is that we don't have a uh a boss of soldiers if we had a boss of soldiers i would have targeted that uh i mean you prefer to take two prices or just slap that or shifu for 200 more. I think we'll take two prices. I think that's the best option here. And we have like three researches and four. Jesus. Uh, Make do number one. Uh, air balloon and another chinchilla. Which is pretty good to see there. You know. We have five Pokemon already. Now we can. Uh, we can make do for the second researching here. Because we don't need them right now. Okay. Uh. 
Oh, we actually do. We actually need a scoop up now. No, but we have a girl bird keeper to draw three more cars and to get the chunky boy out of the active spot. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Because this big boy cannot be moved with air balloon, which is the sad part. It's too chunky. We can't move it. Mm -mm. You, you need a, flout, a flute. <laughs> And there it is, drawing three extra cards. And we're going to be taking a knockout here, hitting this Crobat for 400 damage. Taking our first two prizes and being in the lead. And now my opponent top stacks an energy, but yet no support, no, no, absolutely nothing here. Even if he will be safe for next turn, if I don't find myself a, like a switch shenanigan, because I can even... I can bench the, if we find ourselves, of course, another uh, scoop up. We can scoop up this Snorlax, attach the energy, I mean, attach the air balloon. Well, there it is. He resets the Surfetch himself. I would have just leave it in the active uh, because, yes, we need to draw cards uh, and to guarantee the switch. And no, he cannot. He's doing laser focus, but he cannot search. Uh, he can't search those special energies with laser focus because they are not fighting energies. They become fighting energies once you attach them to your Pokemon, and then you know they're not basic either. Uh, I mean, it doesn't specify they have to be basic, but the if you read the energy text, it says that it when it's attached to your Pokemon, then you can. Uh, then it becomes a fighting uh, energy or dark energy. So, now all we need to do is this three make do's that we're going to be doing here needs to get us uh, uh, the, the brain fart alert. Uh, the scoop up. If we don't get the scoop up, we still have an energy, uh, so that we can attach energy, air balloon, and retreat this, uh, this, um, Snorlax. But no, we did not find none of them. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be attaching the energy here and air balloon, uh, it also, so that way we, you know, we take the knockout here. And we also, in the process, we're going to be doing bosses sort of targeting another Umbreon V. That will be two more prices uh, that we will be up against. Uh, I mean, up ahead, which is pretty good. And training court, getting ourselves that extra and that energy that we uh, had in the discard pile. And that was pretty good to do because we do not want to see those energies in the discard pile. So... And there it is. We got ourselves a crushing hammer and a Shinshino. Now let's see if what my my opponent is in top deck mode. He is breaking like crazy. And to be honest, he had a pretty good start, and he's playing double quick ball here. Uh, does he have another Crobat? Yes, he does. He has another Crobat. He can easily fail this first quick ball and play himself a crowbat so that way uh, you know so now let's see Now, let's see if with this Crobat, my opponent can actually evolve those little doggies and then take the knockout here on this. Uh... There it is. He has the energy per turn, plus he has the Hound Hour, but does he have the fourth energy in the deck so that way he can use, you know. Ooh. He thought he was going to get the... Uh... I mean, he has supporter. So. 
he can research, uh, try to get that urn, and I think he has another energy prize, so that that's why he's thinning a little bit more. And there is the urn and the evolutions, so. And then use that ability and then beat down. How many energies does he has in the deck? I think he only has one. I think he priced one. Debating here whether or not he uses the... Uh... Let's see. He also has... Have... He's going to go for the evolution instance. One. I think he only has one. So that is pretty bad. But he's going for... I think he's going for the beatdown here for 160 damage. Which is pretty good. Not bad at all. And then 180... 100 and, yeah, 246. 160 damage. Now... Can we get ourselves a scoop up net? Or, uh, you know, the second bird keeper. The second bird keeper can work. Or the uh, second, what should we call it? The second air balloon. If we can get ourselves an air balloon or, a, yeah, an air balloon retreat, scoop up, get it back. But we have a scoop up. We have a bird keeper. Yeah, I think we, we're going to go for that. I think we are just going to try and switch here. Try to get that uh, Bird Keeper, of course, now with the Make Deuce. But before we do, we just want to disrupt our opponent a little bit here. But not with that tail, sir. Uh, let's see, what do we do here? Make do number one. Make do number one. We got a power pad, so that will that's that could be an extra a bird keeper and an, and an extra uh, boss disorders in the deck, which is what we are going to do here. And now we have you can say fifty percent chance of getting one bird keeper. Hell yeah, you. If we don't get a bird keeper, that that's okay. We can still uh, work our way around it. Make do number two. Bird keeper, bird keeper. No, but we have a ordinary rod. We have one more, one more make do. Can we get the bird keeper or can we not? What will you to do, my son? You're looking at the cars. Yes, of course. Dark and make do number three. Let's see if we get it. No, we don't. But it was good to try. <laughs> uh, I think we're just going to. Uh, Be here in silence for a little bit more, you know, and then for next turn we can just uh hmm. we can play Sonya. Sonya get ourselves two dark energies and you know have them in our hand. Uh for next turn. My opponent here does not have oh he has a Marnie. So that's pretty bad. Uh that's pretty bad. Uh, so we're just gonna, I think, pass. That's the, that's thing. Unless we want to use the urn, not the urn, the ordinary rod. We can use the ordinary rod to just put more cards in it. But no, hard retreat. We're gonna put that Gorman dice. We want that little dude dead. I'm sorry. We we Pokemon don't die when they battle. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna say gonna doing both for two energies and then. The Minchino. Then they can serve as uh, stuff to discard.
and then we also have I think we have a boss of soldiers in here uh, if we get ourselves the uh, boss of soldiers we can uh, we can do 70 to stop to to, uh, to crow but I don't think it will be a knockout uh, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It'll be a hundred. Oh yeah, so he's going for the KO here. So our hand will will stay thick alicious as always. Uh, my opponent will be taking his first two prizes here with the beatdown on our Urshifu, but that was that's pretty good here. Now we can promote this guy and see what we can do here. We don't have we don't have uh, what should I call it? We don't have uh, dark energies in hand, so right now we do not want to put. So we're gonna go ahead and make dude number one. Now we have a dark energy in hand, which is pretty good. Now we need a second one. Make do. There it is. We have a hammer, and then make do again. Oof! Another tails. Hammers not working today. Mm -mm. And then the third may do. Okay, now we have three energies. Now we can bench that Moltres and slap my opponent for 120 damage into this uh, Urshifu, which I think is uh, is pretty good. And then eventually, if he does not play Marnie, then we can uh, boss it next turn and then hit it for 150, 170. Yeah, 170 damage. Let's see what else. Let's see what my opponent does here. I think he wants. I mean, we are already in a checkmate uh, scenario here. Uh, 170 plus 140 to. I think it's a knockout. My mathematical equations could be wrong, but I think it is a knockout. And then he's going to beat down for the knockout here. And now, Clara will come in clutch. Ooh, but if, oh, he didn't return. He didn't retreat, so that's pretty good. Uh, Clara, where are you, my dear? Oh, no, I see a Sonya. Where is Clara? There it is. We have Clara in hand, so that's pretty good. Now we need to see if we can take a knockout here. Uh, with this Urshifu, we're going to be doing make do Sonya, discarding draw two. Uh, make do Sonya again, discarding two. Gonna boss his orders. Our deck looking pretty thin. I was also thinking of adding one Marnie into this deck just in case for those situations where we look at the deck and we're like, oh no, what is going on here, bro? And yeah, uh, one Marnie could be great in this deck, just one for the late game, you know, so we do not deck out. And then Grey Ball. We have our training court and we have a bird keeper there, so for next turn, probably if we are short. short on hand, we can, you know, do something about it. And now, let's do the clarification with Clara here. I think we're just counting, just to see if we, if it is a knockout, in my opinion. I don't know, it could be a knockout, but I'm not that sure, but it'll be... Ooh, it'll be 310. I think it'll be 20 damage short. I guess. I don't know.
So yeah, I think that will be like 20 damage short, to be honest. But my opponent can do Marnie here, shrink our hand, and then he has urns, so he can just promote the. But we can also just bench another Saptos, attach the energies, and just slap it and boss his orders and win and hit it for 70 damage. That's another thing that we can do here, so we should pretty good. Ooh, round one lost. You don't want that. No, no, no. <laughs> now let's see what my opponent does here. It's a capture energy. He can attach that capture energy into the Umbreon and deal 116, you know. And then he can earn the ones that he retreat. I mean, he has the three retreat costs, the Urshifu. Ooh, GMX one blow. That's it. That's game. Now let's promote the Sapdos and wreak havoc on my opponent. Why are you make doing, sir? Oh, because you wanna. What do you wanna do, sir? There it is. What are you doing? We wanna go out in class. I'm taking our time here. Boom, bam. Saptos attaching to one more energy and attach the energy, dude. What are you doing? I wanna take the knockout with the urge. Oh my God, classical victor. Instead of taking the knockout with the Saptos, we just want to go with the Surf Fetch. Yes, sir. And take the knock. <laughs> we could have taken the knockout there with Saptos doing 70 damage and knocking it out. But we wanted to slap that dude for 200. Now, let's see. On game number two, let's see how it goes. Uh, on this, let's see if my opponent decides to go first or second. If he goes second and start with an Umbreon, we have the guarantee to knock him out. If we draw the card, because if we don't draw the card, then that's another pickle we have to deal with. Uh, but it is pretty satisfying when my opponent starts with a 200 or less HP Pokemon that gives two prices. Mm, exquisite. You love to see it. Now let's see, let's see here whether or not we go first or second, uh, or if my opponent goes first or second. And we start with Saptos, which is pretty good. Man, we have a good hand. If my opponent decides to go first, we have an excellent hand. And yes, he decides to go first, which is pretty good, pretty good indeed. Started with the Tower of Darkness. There, Tower of Darkness, discarding the urn, drawing a two extra cards, Urshifu hitting the bench like a pro. You love to see it. And now he has a quick bolt, discarding a tool scraper. Discarding a tool scraper, getting rid of that. Uh, he can even thin the hand a little bit more, playing the uh, quick balling, searching for a crowbar, then evil incense. Uh, fail the evil instance, attach the uh, special energy into the Urshifu, and then Crobat for six cars. Or five. Yeah, five. Oh. Did I look correct? No, he had, there it is. Well, there was the Crobat. Ooh, he's going to save that evolution instance. Uh, pretty, that's good too. The drawing less card, but you know. Now he has more quick balls. Look at that. What's the last card? Is that a bit? If he, no, I think that's an air balloon. Yeah, that's an air balloon. Uh, he can quick ball for a quick ball. Get himself another doggle.
pretty good start for my opponent. Energy attachment per turn, three dunks on the bench, and in play, and uh, he can even air balloon the active just to save it. Uh, retreated to the Urshifu, and oh no, but no, that that could potentially mean that we can take a knockout here. Let's see if that. Oh, it hits! You love to see it. It hits. It hits. Uh, Shimshino. Ooh, but do we want to get rid of those cards? I mean, we have Clara. Clara can get us uh, those little babies back. So let's see, let's see what we do here. We have research. We can opt to go for the research, and see if we can get ourselves another Sapdos. Bench it, slap uh, two energies plus one per turn, and then eat pretty good. Eat dogs, birds eating dogs. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna pass. We're gonna hold our hand. We're gonna be champions. Oh hell yeah! Uh, air ballooning to the active. Evolution Incense, getting ourselves, getting himself, uh, probably a Houndour. No, Urshifu. You missed that one too, Victor. You missed that one too. Now let's see if he ha what. Let's see what type of supporter he has in hand. So that way he can play. I mean, he, if he has a Marnie, we're going to be sad. Because we already have uh, two main channels. Two chin channels or whatever. Two chin ch oh, he has a research. Never mind. Never mind. Play it all. Now, let's see how this goes. Another evolution instance. Two evolution instance. So, it doesn't matter if you don't draw into the evolutions. As long as you have evolution instance in your hand, baby, you're gooch and you're, you're just chilling like a villain. And my opponent here can... I mean, I didn't know if he had energy attachment per turn in hand, but he has double evolution, which means that he will be able to use both abilities to attach two energies into that Urshifu. Now, the question is, no, he does not have it, but he can still draw two extra cards with that uh, Tower of Darkness. Oh, and there it is. So he will be able to take a knockout here on this Sapadudu, uh, which is eh, quite good. You, 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 meh. But it's also good because he takes 40 damage. So right now... <clears throat> We just have to conserve, or just feed my opponent's uh, Pokemon. Take one, take two, and then Sapdos, uh, 120, and then wait. He takes the knockout, not Sapdos, uh, Moltres, and then just wait. You know, just, we can't, I mean, we can go for the uh, Surf Fetch shenanigan here, but we do not want to give our opponent the opportunity of having three prices uh, up advantage. Nope. Oh, we have Clara. That's good, but no, we want to play research. That's why we were holding our hand, so we have two McDoodoos with these two chinchillas. And we have Air Balloon, which is pretty good. We have energy. Okay. Now, we need one. Only one dark energy. If we can find ourselves one dark energy, that will be excellent. If we cannot find ourselves one dark one extra dark energy that's still gonna be good why because we can quick ball for probably uh, the Snorlax uh, make the other make do sir make the other make do well, I mean we need it oh also if we get a training coin that would be that would be pretty good Make do number two. Energy. Oh. No, we don't. We don't get the dark energy, but we get two. Uh, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Quick balling. Are we going to get ourselves the big boy? No, we're going to go for the surf fetch. We are going to slap this Urshifu for two Hondo Damos. 
And then once he take two more prices, then we can slap my opponent for 170, taking a knockout here. Man, you'd love to see that. Pretty good play. So now, even though my opponent can use beatdown, I mean, not does not beatdown, but the second attack, uh, I think it is impact blow. That's going to be pretty good. Ooh, power padding, those two, excellent. And then slapping my opponent for 200 damage. Let's go. This is why I don't like Battle VIP Pass in this deck. Probably if we play it with, like for example, Ultra Ball. Then it can potentially be good. But uh, on, that, on, on this format, uh, playing VIP Pass... It's just a bad card, you know. If you don't get it at the at the turn one, uh, you're just it's a, it becomes dead, and then you draw into it, and then you don't want to see that card, and then you don't have nothing else to discard it. Oh no, not good. So my opponent has right now uh, two hundred and sixty damage. J-Max Rumble. There it is, taking two prices now. We're in the lead. I think. So now these two make do's that we have here uh, need to give us one energy. Oof, looking, looking, ah, looking pretty bad. Make do number two, please get us energy. And no, we did not get the energy here. So we're going to whiff yet again a knockout. But that's pretty good because my opponent... Cannot take a knockout here. He will have... I mean, he can. Don't get me wrong. He can take a knockout. Uh, but it's not a knockout we want to see. And playing Ordinary Rap, putting two Dark Energies. I mean, two Fighting Energies. And a lot of more stuff in there. So, right now, we are in... We're not a good in a good spot here. I mean, we're still uh, pretty good. If my opponent manages to, uh, he can attach the scroll uh, of uh, the scroll energy and then take another knockout here. But if my opponent uh, manages to take two more extra prices, mm, we don't want to see. We, don't, we do not want to see that. And ooh, he has two urns, so he can put a, uh, those three energies if he wants into those three energies back into the deck, slap them into the Earth Shifu, and attack. But I don't think you want to do that. Ooh, does he have the knockout here, sir? Attaching it into the active. Uh, which is pretty good, but we have another Clara in the deck, in the in our hand. So we can use that Clara, bring it all back again, make do through uh, two times, and hopefully this time we can get ourselves an energy in hand. And that way we can take the knockout here on this. Uh... Urshifu. We can even slap this. I think he has enough damages that we can just slap him for 70 and then take the knockout. And then if he promotes that uh, Umbreon, he has to inflict damage to it. And then I think, yeah, I think we have checkmate. If I'm not mistaken. Even though my opponent is close to two prices, uh, 
And we haven't taken not even one. Not even one. This one is going a little bit slower uh, than anticipated. Alright, so let's see what else he manages to do here. And beat down for the knockout. There it is. Now, let's see what can we do here. We don't top deck energy, which is not quite good. But we have two, we have four extra cards that we can draw. There it is. We got it. We got the energy. Now we can slap this dude for 220 damage. And then Clara. There it is. Clara for the win. Man, you'd love to see that. I touch the fighting. I think the fighting is better. Man, we haven't we haven't played a uh, training court. That's another thing that we haven't played. Uh, he has enough damage for you to knock it out, sir. Do not worry. Mm, I would have waited for that. I would have waited for that play. What are you doing? Oh, snap! Energy assist for 40 damage. Holy granoli. Energy assist for 40. Taking an Aga Witch in Chino. That's the biggest troll I have I have ever done. Oh my goodness. But now my opponent is... is it, it, I have game right now. Because he's only attacker. His only attacker is that Umbreon VMAX. He can also use the dogs to attack. But damn. Ooh, my opponent can potentially win here. I think if he attacks with the dogs and take a knockout in the Shinchino, he can potentially. No, he can't. He will have to commit all the energies. No, no, no. He will have to commit all, like, three. Single strike energies into this Hound Hour in order to to win, and I think that is his last um, earn. But there it is. You love to see it. Forty damage on this uh, Umbreon, which is pretty good in our end. Pretty good for us also, because right now. Um, we're doing, he'll be taking uh, five prizes, and that'll be 250 damage plus 20. That's already a knockout. We have, we just, we are, we have game here. So, I think that's the bad part about playing uh, single strike, that you have to take damage. But those damage are the ones that's going to help us win this game. And knockout. Come on, Victor. You have the energy in hand. Just retreat, promote. Knockout. I think we're we're doing mathematics. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do just we're just doing mathematical equations here. Negative twenty, negative twenty. Oh, plus forty damage, two hundred and fifty. Oh, good lord! And Trinity Blade for the knockout. Fury Darkness or Burn or something. Whatever the hell is the 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 name of this um Moltres attack? Uh, we did it. We pulled it, and we managed to beat an Urshifu single strike leg. 
<sighs> Pretty good. We troll our opponent on the first matchup, but you know, we had to stay humble, Victor. But there it is. Uh, the Sir of Sirs playing correctly. You know, I'm taking it up. Uh, Surfish is pretty good. I think I will be playing Surfish for the upcoming week. See if I can knock out some Malamars, some uh, Ice Riders, or some sort of in between shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I'm excited to just <laughs> keep playing more with this uh, Surfesh deck. I think I need to add one more Hoopa in it. Because there are some cases where, like for example, I went up against Ma Rapid Strike Malamar. And I decided to attack with Sapdos. And I didn't know that Malamar had Resistant times 30 in it. So I couldn't take the knockout there. So I almost lost to uh, Malamar. Uh, it was a close game. We tied on it, but I want to be. I want to make sure that I take the first knockout because on when you go up against Malamar, one single prize deck versus another one, you want to make sure that you're taking prices back to back. My Broly is crying. I don't know why, but that will be it, guys. I see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching the video. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, that'll give you more motivation to do more videos. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And comment down below what are your more exciting uh, to see. But for now, Mew is on the top. We gotta uh, we gotta see how we beat Mew in one of those cool late night series. But see you guys on the next one. Peace out and take care. Have a good blessed day. <laughs>